Hi friends, today we'll be discussing about uh, a property strategy. What is the best property investment strategy? There, there are so many strategies if you are into uh, property investment, so you'd know that uh, there are multiple strategies where uh, you know you can appreciate, uh, you know. So there are some cash flow strategies, some uh, capital appreciation strategies. So today we are going to discuss about the best strategy, which I like the most is called DRRR. What, is that, what does that mean or what does that stand for? It stands for buy, refurbish, refinance, okay? And then you rent it out, okay? So what is that strategy? So buy, refurbish, refinance is, uh, you know, where, as the name suggests, you buy the property and then you refurbish it. So that means there is a catch here as well, okay? What is, what is the catch or what is the uniqueness about this property? It is uh, a property where you can add a value to your, uh, that property. That's very, very important, okay? So, so you buy the property and uh, you refurbish uh, or increase the value of the property and then get it refinanced and then you can rent it out. Okay, so why this is such a unique and a best strategy is uh, this is a strategy where you can uh, rinse and repeat. So that means you can uh, circulate your money, okay, forever. So that means whatever you're, you invest uh, you know, in the first property, you, I know, do the refer, refer basis, re, refinance, take entire money or significant chunk of your money out of the property by refinancing it. And then you invest that money in buying another property. And this is the way you can build a portfolio of multiple properties at uh, any point of time. So this has been the secret of many property investors who have built a humongous portfolio. Why is that so? Uh, you know why this property uh, property investment strategy is just so unique and so powerful is guys doesn't matter how much of money you may have okay you may have you know 100 million uh, pounds 100 million dollars with you but you will run out of that money one day okay if you start investing in properties or buying properties okay so the worst investment strategy is to put your own cash. As you all know, if you are into property, then you should know as well. That is the uniqueness of the property investment strategy is uh, you are playing with somebody else's money. But what is the most unique thing about this strategy of buy, refurbish, refinance is you have the opportunity now to uh, rinse and repeat or recycle your capital, you know, what you invested in your first property or multiple properties you can build in the same uh, way. So what kind of property you should look for? Very, very important. You make money in any investment when you buy, not when you sell. Very, very important. What does that mean? So that means uh, if you are buying a property, it's not you know when you are selling the property, you make money, but when you buy, what does that mean? So it means you have to buy the property at a very uh, good price, at a very good time, at a very good location. So that means all depend on when you buy it, okay? So you make money when you buy it, okay? So what kind of property you should go for? You should only go for the properties where you can add a value. So that means the appreciation of the value of the property is in your hand, okay? not in the country's economy's hand or global economic, uh, socioeconomic condition of that country's hand. So that means uh, this is the way I can have full control on the appreciation. So how do you, how can I uh, leverage that is if I go for a bit of property. So that means let's say a property where, you know, um, the, the kitchen is really bad, you know, in a, in a bad condition, okay? So probably I may not get a, a mortgage, okay? What I do then is I may, uh, you know, finance it from my own pocket or I may have a bridge finance, uh, you know, um, company to finance it. And then what I do is I then appreciate the value of the property by putting the kitchen in, okay? So that means what happens here is the, price of the property significantly goes up. Why? Because earlier it was not mortgageable or not, not able to be financed by a bank. Now, when I invest my money and in, uh, you know, it becomes mortgageable because, you know, the kitchen is in order, 
even if let's say I put uh, you know uh, 10, 20, uh, 30,000 pounds or 30,000 dollars, whatever I'm putting in to uh, you know increase or to make that kitchen, now suddenly that value of that property becomes high because it's mortgageable, it can be sold. Okay, so then if I buy the property, let's say in 100,000 pounds, now it uh, it uh, with 20,000 pounds of investment, that uh, property became, uh, the value became 150,000, 170,000. So now I forced appreciated. I, uh, uh, I had the full control on the appreciation of the property, not on the, uh, you know, the country's economy or the, you know, uh, property index, if it's going up or what is the rate it is going up. And based on that, I, um, you know, I can uh, take the equity out. Uh, that is not the case here. I am in full control. So that is the reason why this is so super powerful uh, concept, but very importantly, what kind of property you go for, that is quite important and that's what it matters. So that means very in, in your mind, it should be that, okay, the property where I can add a value and value addition is within my control. That means I can increase, I can force increase the value, okay? Increase of value is in my hand. But definitely the property has to be in good location. That means property, you know, has to be in, in a place where it is uh, rentable. That means in high demand, probably, you know, where, uh, you know, the commutable distance from, from you know, your, um, you know, the city center or the town, um, you know, that should be, you know, uh, you know, the, the workforce, that means the people, uh, you know, uh, there, there should be good demand uh, of, of uh, the properties in that market. But definitely you have to look for those. But in that area, or we'll call it a gold mine area, you have to look for these kind of properties. Okay. So with that, uh, we are done. Hopefully you understand now the buy, refurbish, refurbish and refinance strategy. And you got to invest in, uh, you know, the strategy to make and build a humongous portfolio of property. With that, I'm done and over and out.